Hey everybody, welcome to Excel video 367. I was working on a project for a group the other day on duration, trying to figure out how long it takes for a patient to get in the door, to out of the door, how long are they spending in the waiting area, what can we do to speed up this workflow and see more patients during the day. When you're ready to look at duration in your practice, I'd love to talk to you. What we're going to do today is I copied the data over here that we've been playing with over here. So for this time I took the error out. We're not going to play with errors today. We're just going to put a zero there. And the average for these five is the same 38.6 here that we had over there where we just replaced that NA with a zero. Well, I've got the zero here. I've got the average. Let's assume for whatever reason, you know, I want to exclude any physicians that didn't have any surgeries last quarter. I want just an average of folks that did have a surgery for whatever reason. Maybe Dr. Russell doesn't do surgery, something like that. What we can do is a couple of things, and we're going to do it without if er is error this time. What we're going to do is we're going to do our equals average like we've done before. So for this time, what we're going to do is we're going to do an if formula that says if this value here not equal to zero. And you see how I did not equal? I just said not greater than, not less than. I just said not equal to zero. If that is true, then what I want to do is pull this number in. And then I'm not going to worry about if it's false. I mean, I could always put a zero there or whatever, but I'm just going to say, hey, if it's false, I don't care. I'm going to finish my if, finish my average, control shift, and enter. And now 48.25 is the same average I had. Remember, this average was when I had an error here and I ignored the error. Now what I'm doing is I'm ignoring a zero. And the way I'm ignoring it, it's not with if error. I don't have an error here. I'm not worried about that is error and if and all that. What I am doing is I'm saying average if F2 to F6 is not zero. That's the trick. Or we could make it, you know, if if the location isn't this. So there's a number of different things we could do with this function here. If this is not zero is what we chose, then take these numbers, average them, control shift and enter. And that's how I'm getting an average without zeros. You could total without zeros, you could count without zeros, you can do all kinds of things with that and pretty much get a custom average for whatever kind of data you're, you're being fed from your PM system. That's what I wanted to show you about if and is error and some of those kind of things with averages. There are yet a bunch more things we can do with arrays. I'll show you another trick next time. Thanks for watching.